All right, let's check in with Holly. The weather is the big story. A little bit mm -hmm. cold yeah. out there. I know it's a little bit chilly for us here in Phoenix who aren't used to this uh, fall like weather, right? And it kind of came out of nowhere. So it's all thanks to that area of low pressure that dropped in over the state. The reason I point that out now is because you can kind of see those rain bands, right? This is a system that has a counterclockwise motion. So you can now see those rain showers continuing up in northern Arizona. We're looking right outside of Seligman along the 40. And then we've been watching Flagstaff earlier this afternoon. We had some rain there and some snow up at the San Francisco peaks. I think some of this is some wet snow out there. It's still a little bit uh, above freezing at this point, just right outside of Flagstaff, but we could see maybe about an inch fall in Flagstaff overnight tonight once those temps come down. Also some concerns down to the southeast corner of the state. We're looking at a freeze warning. This is for areas like Safford out toward Wilcox. Those temps could fall below freezing below 5,000 feet. So uh, if you have any of those plants that are sensitive, may want to bring them inside uh, if you still have time to do so. So outside right now, we're at 36 in Flagstaff, 40s in Sedona and in Prescott, upper 60s right now here in the Phoenix area. So if you're heading out early tomorrow morning, temps will fall into the 50s. You may want to have that light jacket as you step outside tomorrow morning. We'll be in the mid 60s by 9, upper 60s by that 10 o'clock hour. And the good news, highs tomorrow still trending below average. So our high today was 74. We are going to be a little bit warmer than that at 82 degrees here in Phoenix, but average for this time of the year is 88. So at least we're still trending a little bit south of that. 60 degree temps in Sholo, Payson, out in Sedona. Highs tomorrow, we're looking at 84 for Lake Havasu, also up toward Bullhead City, 52 for Flagstaff. Once we start to see some of that rain and snow fall overnight tonight, early tomorrow morning, we'll start to have some more dry air push in. That will also lead to warmer temperatures. Our weather pattern now going to be dominated by a ridge of high pressure. That will bring these temps up as we head into the new work week. So that overnight low of 57, that should be the coldest out of the next seven days. We're into the upper 80s by Monday into the 90s by Tuesday. So once again, our temps are jumping above normal. It's been nice to get a break from that, right? But yeah, we're going to have those high temps in the upper 90s, and that will be all the way through next weekend, those overnight lows in the mid 60s. All right.